What is going on TG community? It is Poke Collector NYC here back again with another video. This one is for a Korra first edition. We wanted to show you the complete master set in order of what the first edition of Korra set would look like. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell and smashing that like button. Does go a long way for Poke Collector NYC. Uh, and shout out to Blue EX for being a Patreon member. We do we do appreciate our Patreon members here on the channel. But before we get into the Acora Master Set, which we'll show in the binder, I just wanted to show off the Magna Tequina Box Topper. This is such a beautiful card. Um, again, I wasn't completely aware of everything in Acora First Edition, but this is a one out of 1,000. So they only made, I think, about 30,000 booster boxes, and this is one of 1,000. Magna Tequina, Tequina box toppers that were made there. So there's an alternate artwork of this. Um, it's in the regular set, like a full art in the set. Um, I believe it's called a generational, but this is a first edition box topper, one out of 1000. It doesn't say it here, but it, does it say it there? I don't think it does, but um, all right. Well, so let's get into the uh, actual binder here. I'm gonna pause this and you will be transitioned right into the binder. All right, and a smooth list, or smooth, sorry, I said smooth list, uh, transition into the binder itself, our deck protection binder right here. Uh, one through nine. Now, bear in mind, I do not have all the hollows in the set as of yet, but I do have a pretty good order of everything in the, um, in the uh, set itself. As you can see here, we are missing the hollow for Zara Zeru, uh, Seraph Zeru. We do have the one for Magna Tequina. We don't have the hollow, I believe, for Akai Hain. But this is one through nine. There is about 200 cards, 202 cards in the set. As you can see here, we are missing just, we'll see there that this is the only one we're missing. And I believe this one is going to be, and bear with me, as I look through this in the TCG play, or, or on the website, the uh, Crystal Citadel is the only uh, card we are missing in this set. Uh, but you can see here we are pretty filled otherwise we are still again like i said missing a couple of hollows um, which i tend to put in the same slot as the rare itself now um for the uh actual shards i did separate the shard non-hollow from the hollows so you'll see non-hollow falling to the hollows it's just me but completely up to you on how you want to do it you have the fire relic shard the dark shards relic shards here the divine um relic shard which I should have the non-hollow somewhere, so I'll have to take a look at that. Electric Relic Shard, and then you have the hollows and non-hollows. Uh, the Stone of Accord is a beautiful one. I am actually missing the Water Relic Shard and the Ice Relic Shard from a hollow perspective or full art perspective, but you know that's pretty much it from that perspective. I'm just showing you what they would look like here. We are already at number 54, Broken Ice, and I know that some people the chase from a hollow perspective is going to be that sub-zero right here but you can see here this is what the uh, master set looks like i will put a link to the acora website where it actually has the entire set in order as well but definitely wanted to give you that good glimpse into the set itself uh, as you can see here uh you know some of the common hollows explosion you get into here. Um, I know this does come in a hollow, but I mean, there. It, this is a large set for its first set. This is quite large. So going through this entire page, going through what each page looks like. Again, we're only on 108 out of the uh, 202, I believe, here. So you have Ocean's Cry right here. The tokens are also in here as well. Uh, Holy Judgment as a full hollow or a hollow. Uh, I don't think that comes in a full art hollow. I know this does, Kojima, Suki, uh, the Awoken Dragon generational will also come in there. I, believe, I don't know if this comes in a hollow, but I'd have to take a look. Uh, Power of the Mind comes in a hollow. This is a divine sphere in a hollow. I am missing still a few hollows, so there is that piece. But I mean, I, from a card perspective, I'm just missing one card. Uh, to complete the master set and then obviously just chasing like the full arts and the hollows uh going into there so uh jinsoku juden which also comes at a full art we're only on page 
We're only on 162, and now we're going through 180. So here is everything in 180. Uh, let's see here, I believe. Yep, that's a catastrophe. It's a hollow. Suriza is a hollow. Again, I don't remember every single one that comes in a hollow and what I'm missing, but I know I am missing a number of hollows. So that's what I'll be really chasing next in terms of the master set. Uh, but I definitely want to give you at least the non-hollow version of the master set right here. Uh, you Takina Spirits. You have Yumi Yase. And then we're at the final page, which I know this comes in a full art hollow, and I know this does. Uh, but this is everything in the master set. I believe, oh yes, we do have the three box toppers that I've compl that I've gotten so far out of the seven, which is Moku, Akai, and Jinsoku. Uh, just a couple extra hollows. I do. I did not put this in there, which is the uh, one out of 1,000 box topper. And the only other full arts that we got was this generational uh, Magna Cage. And then we got the Yari Ken. The, there are a lot of full arts. We have not completed the full arts, but I definitely just wanted to show you the entire set from a non-hollow version, just basically the complete set. Uh, but let me know what you think about this. I hope this is helpful. I'm going to put a link to the Accor website so you can also complete your set. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and smashing that like button. This is Poke Collector NYC. I hope this uh, was informative for you, and we'll see you next time.